In life, there are three positions you can have, keep it clean, where you could still be considered a winner, or at least a runner-up. For example, in the Olympics, winning bronze is considered good. It's considered still a winner. Silver, even more so. But in the Olympics, it's all about gold. But then again, these are just cheap movie props of Olympic medals. What if you had one which was the full size and not just blank on the back like these cheap movie prop replicas? Sometimes there is no substitution for the more authentic thing. There is just no room for second or third place. I guess what I'm saying is, as much as I love this high kappa, and as much as I love this even more, people are always going to say that this is the best. <laughs> oh boy. Now normally I would be holding the airsoft pistol in my hand in that little sequence of me turning around towards the camera, but I just had to feature the box first. It really does look like a box of chocolates. I really have to give Toko Marui 10 out of 10 for their presentation. The way they pack and display their airsoft pistols and their bigger guns in the boxes are amazing. Okay, so let's get to it. This is the fantastic looking Tokyo Marui High Kappa 5.1 Gold Match. Now, before I know I have been waxing lyrical about Armour or Works, and I still stand by my word that those pistols are amazing. But I've got a funny feeling. And despite the fact this is predominantly made out of ABS, I think, or some form of plastic, this just might be slightly better or a lot better. I don't know, but we will do a shooting test a little bit later. Um, I am so torn. Many people will stand by Tokyo Marui and say nothing touches them when it comes to quality, looks, and accuracy. So, do you know what? Let's indulge in a little airsoft gun porn and have a look around this beautiful Tokyo Marui High Kappa 5.1 Gold Match. Okay, so let's go through the features. We're gonna start with the actual looks, okay? The externals of this high kappa. Right, so, as we all know, majority, if not all, of Tokyo Marui airsoft weapons are predominantly made out of plastic. Now, the surprising thing about this particular model is that it feels heavy. So, externally, we have your metal thumb safety, which is ambidextrous. 
you have your metal hammer, your metal beaver tail grip safety, and your metal rail. And the thing that I absolutely love about this is that this whole section here that I'm pointing at is metal. That's fantastic because usually plastic airsoft pistols are just that. Plastic. But this one right here, this entire section from here all the way across, this is entirely made out of metal and that is fantastic. Now as well as other small metal parts on this airsoft pistol, naturally and of course the inner barrel and the guide rod are also metal. Nice. Now if you look at this mock puzzle style trigger right here, still has that sort of skeletonized effect. But the thing that's really confusing me about this particular Tokyo Marui High Kappa 5.1 gold match is that the trigger is supposed to be some form of ABS plastic, but it really does feel like metal. Now, are Tokyo Marui shipping these things with plastic triggers that are made to feel like metal? Is that possible? Because everywhere I read, this is supposed to be plastic. But oh my gosh, it feels like metal. And there is a way you can test certain things. If you expose this airsoft pistol to say, a colder climate, you will feel that the metal parts feel very cold to the touch. The thing I love about doing this review on this particular airsoft pistol is that 99% of all of my other airsoft pistol reviews, I'm always comparing them to Tokyo Marui and always talking about, imagine if they had Tokyo Marui internals. So instead of just talking about Tokyo Marui and imagining certain things, why not just get one in, which I have, which is gonna be included in my giveaway. Oops, I wasn't supposed to say that, but anyway. So yeah, let's move on to right here. Ops, tag .45. And over here, you got your Made in Japan, you got your MRP 45 ACP. And above on the slide, MRP Cal.45. And down on the grip, you've got your OPS MRP. And of course it has markings on the other side of the grip. And on the other side, on the slide, you've got a mixture of all of what I've already told you right here. With some even smaller print down here, which I'm not even going to begin to read. And would you take a look at the rear sight? Absolutely. Gorgeous. And talking about the sight, it's fully adjustable. And of course on the front, you've got your fiber optic sight. And another very cool feature is your extended slide lock and release. Which is absolutely fantastic because it means you don't have to reposition your hand when you want to operate this lever. For example, look. My thumb is just missing the lever on my other favorite airsoft pistol. But on the Tokyo Marui, it's just there. Another cool feature which you would come to expect on an airsoft pistol and of course real steel, it has serrations on the back of the slide, but it also has them on the front. Personally, that's neither here nor there for me because I always rack from the back and never from the front. The magazine holds about 31 rounds. Oh, and let me just jump back a little bit just to talk about this slide again. The slide is made out of plastic, so it's very light, so you're gonna get a really faster cycling when you're shooting this airsoft pistol. But the fact that they've got these cutouts along here, it makes the slide even lighter. Would you look at that beautiful outer barrel? <laughs> it's a shame it's plastic, but still, looks gorgeous. Right, let's take it down and have a quick look inside. what I'm talking about. Look, the entire section here is metal. So it's not all bad news when it comes to Tokyo Marui plastic pistols. And there you have it people. This is what you set other airsoft pistols against in terms of quality. If you're gonna wanna check if the airsoft pistol you have is of an absolute beautiful and quality build, compare it with the best. Would you look at the internals of this Tokyo Marui High Kappa 5.1 Gold Match. It even has metal reinforcement just there. Nice. And of course, there are other metal elements going all the way through this slide. And another great thing about having that little metal reinforcement just there 
as I mentioned before, when the slide lock locks the slide back, at least then you know it's not locking onto the plastic side of this slide, it's locking onto that metal internal. Oh, and this will be the perfect time to show you a real quality hop-up unit. Would you look at that? It even has a little, like a little knob, maybe knob's not the right word, <laughs> a little notch or a little handle type thing right there, can you see it? Where well, you can get your fingernail or your finger onto it so that you can adjust your hop up. Nice. Isn't that gorgeous? Sends shivers down my spine. This is just absolute perfection. Right now, before I include this in the giveaway, I mean, before I go to the range, <laughs> I keep giving away those little clues. Anyway, let's take a look at what else you get in the box. As you saw during the opening sequence, you got this nice little box of chocolates, or okay, nice little box of BBs. And not only are there BBs in there, I'll get this open in a second, there you go. Here's your BBs. And as always, when it comes to Token Marui, these are not rubbish, cheap, freebie BBs. These are quality, but I never use them because I keep them for keepsake. Oh, and if you look along the top there, you've got your little unjamming rod slash cleaning rod. Oh, and you get one of these little barrel plug things. Very good for transportation and for making your pistol safe. So if you shove that down the hole, that, there must be another way I can say that. But anyway, <laughs> Once you've shoved it in, ain't no BBs going nowhere. You also get these little magazine inserts. Now I'm sure these are for dry firing purposes, which is perfect if you're into movie making. But the fact that none of the instructions on here are in English, some people mistaken these things for something else. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna instantly get this translated right now so we can see exactly what these little black things are for. Yeah, so like I said, these are dry firing inserts. You simply pop them in the top part of your mag right there. And as I said, if you're into movie making, that's perfect. Cause it means then you can fire this airsoft pistol without actually having any BBs in it and the slide will cycle. Let me show you. And there's no BBs in the mag. Now, if I take this dry firing insert out of the mag, like so, and put the mag back in, when I pull the slide back, it stays back because there's no dry firing insert in the mag. And of course, more importantly, there are no BBs in the mag. So of course, the slide will not slide back and you will not be able to fire. Okay. Let's take it to the range. Right, now put some uh, green gas in here. And I've just put some BBs in. So the first thing I'm going to do is an accuracy test. So, uh, Results are, let's just uh, grab this camera on the way. Oh wow, <laughs> look at that. My very first shot hit bullseye right there in the center. And as I've mentioned before, I was over 35 feet away. And this little target area here is only about two and a half inches wide. Just this little bit right here. Of course, the entire target is a whole lot bigger, but we're just looking at that smaller target in the head. Now when we moved down, I decided to go for another headshot on another tiny little target. And then look, hit it right there. 
right there. Excellent. Then when we go down, I went for the three circle. And as you can see, I hit right there, just on the edge of the center three circle. And if you look on this little target right there, I just about made it on the actual target itself, right there in the number one outer circle. But if you look across to this one, dead on bullseye. And if you go up, dead on, pretty much nearly bullseye, but it is in there, that center circle. Do you know what? Overall, I would say this Token Marui high cap of 5.1 gold match is excellent when it comes to accuracy. Now, of course, you've got some element of human error there. So I would say in the next couple of weeks or so, I'm going to start clamping the airsoft guns down so that I remove any human error so that the pistols or rifles are sitting perfectly still just to see how accurate they really are. But in real life, you wouldn't have that in gameplay. You would be holding it in your hands. So as far as I'm concerned, these type of accuracy tests are just as valid, if not more so. Right, let's chrono this bad boy. Now, we're back to that age old argument as to whether you should really be using anything stronger than duster gas or 144A gas, which we have over here in the UK. Should you really be using stronger gas like green gas in a plastic pistol? Well, I've already shown you that it has got some metal reinforcements inside. So for the purpose of this chrono test, I'm gonna chrono it in green gas and the weaker Predator gun gas 144A. And we'll see what results we get. So I've got this mag filled with this gas. Let's see what happens. So there you go, on the chrono test, you can see there, we're pretty much hitting in your mid 270s. It started off around the 280 FPS, but yeah, that's what you're gonna get using duster gas or similar 144A Predator gas. Okay, so I've got another mag here, and this mag has green gas in it. So let's see what results we get. First thing I'm going to do, let me just quickly reset the chrono. And there you go on the chrono, we're getting a better reading there. It's going up into your, I'd say averaging around the 310, 315 FPS. So yeah, it's up to you really. Use 144A gas or duster gas, or if you want that little bit extra power, use some green gas. I'm off Mike, and boy, do I approve this. Tokyo Marui 5.1 Gold Match.